Hello bookworms! Today we're going to be reading a book called Daddy Lion's Tea Party. One bright sunny day, Daddy Lion reached for his favourite teapot and smiled at the lion cubs. Today is a perfect day for a quiet little tea party, he announced. But the three lion cubs looked doubtful. They liked big, noisy parties, not quiet little ones. Can we at least invite the chimps? they asked. Daddy Lion shook his mane. I don't think so, he said. Those chimps are always monkeying about. <laughs> but how about the pot-bellied pigs and rhino? asked the cubs. Can they come please, please, pretty please? Not today, said Daddy Lion. The pot-bellied pigs always hog the cream buns. And Rhino never stops charging about. Then what about all our other friends? asked the cubs. Can they come instead? Well, my dears, sighed Daddy Lion. They could, but... You know how all the other animals normally behave. Crocodile snaps at everyone. Sloth only turns up when all the other guests are gone. And as for skunk, that awful skunk. He always poo-pongs, stinks the whole place out. So it was decided it would just be Daddy Lion and the Lion Cubs at the tea party. Wouldn't that be nice? There was just one huge problem. Elephant, who was all ears, had overheard the whole thing. Psst, he whispered. Did you know Daddy Lion is having a tea party and none of us are invited? But Ostrich, for obvious reasons, was only half listening. So when she shook the sand from her ears, she told the parrots, who were all talk, what she thought and what she heard the elephant say. Which is how the parrots ended up flying high overhead, squawking, Ah! Daddy Lion! Ah! Is having ah, a tea party! Ah! And we're all Invited! And which is why, just as Daddy Lion lifted his favourite china teacup daintily to his lips, the lion cubs let out a mighty cheer. Yippee! For there stood all the animals ready to join the fun. Well said Daddy Lion. Now you're here, you might as well all sit down. But remember, this is a quiet little tea party, so best behaviour, please. So down they sat as nicely and politely as they possibly could, and no one hogged the buns or monkeyed about. But... Just when the lion cubs thought things were a little too quiet, Ostrich nudged Daddy Lion. Psst, she said. Look, everyone is staring at us. And for a moment, everyone froze. Oh, zoo of visitors, muttered Daddy Lion. I think we should all ignore them and just behave as we normally would. Which is how Daddy Lion's party finally turned into a rip-roaring, poo-pong, stinking, big, noisy, wild success. And that is why the very next day, the lion cubs asked, Can we please have a 
have another quiet little tea party just like yesterday's? Oh look, and there's the sloth, turned up late as usual. And that book was written by Mark Sperring and illustrated by Sarah Warburton. <laughs>